Greetings and mutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a data set like this, reports in this format you'll see all over the place, where we have column grouping. So this is ratings data, so you can see country and rating for S&P is grouped under the S&P column grouping. Then we got Moody's with the country and rating, and then we got Fitch with its country and rating. So this is actually pivots of data. So I want to take this and I want to create rows out of these column groups. So to look something like this, basically a ratings agency, a country and its rating. So let me show you how to do it. All right, all right. So now let's get this data into Power Query. So this is a file, the Excel file. I'm going to open a new Excel workbook. I'm going to say get data from file from Excel workbook. I'm selecting the file. And I'm like, that's the data. So now it's going to pull it into Power Query. Here we have it. First thing that I want to do is I want to extract the column names. You know, so we have country and rating, country and rating, country and rating. The column names that repeat for all of the column groupings. So how do I do that is, first of all, I'm going to use underscore record. But you can see this first row is actually row zero. That's row one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new line. And I'm going to say there, cool, can you curly brackets, not the first or zero row, bring row one, which is the column headers. And that's going to bring it back in a record. A record is simply a row. And it's basically representing this first row over there, which is number one. I want to convert this to a list record to list. And now it's a list, but I want to, you can see it basically repeating. I want a distinct list. So I can just say list distinct. And now I'll have a distinct list of column names. I'm going to take this and I'm going to rename this to column names. Now I'm going to add a new step and I'm not going to refer to the previous step, but I'm going to refer to change type over there. Okay. So it's going to put in there change type, which refers to that step. Right. I want to remove the two junk rows, the column grouping and then obviously the column header from this data set. So we can use table.skip table. I'm going to kind of just assume we're going to hard code the top two rows. If you want to do it dynamically, I made a video on dynamic junk row removal. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. There we go. So now we removed the top two rows. What I want to do next, and this is a bit of a stretch, I want to take each of these columns and convert it into a separate list. And how I do that is using a little magic function called table to columns. So table to columns, and I'm just going to say, give it that. And this should create six lists for us. There we go. List one, two, three, four, five, six, which represents the pairs. Country rating, country rating, country rating for each of the ratings agencies. You can see it over there. Cool. Now, what I want to do is, as you can see here, if we look back at the, the actual data, we basically take these six columns, which is the six list, and we group them in groups of two for each, for all of the columns that we have. So country and rating. All right. So I'm just going to go here and we're going to say list split. So we're going to Split the lists, we're going to group them to pairs of two. I'm going to hard code it for now because it represents two columns for each column group. So you can see now we have a list of lists, which is the country rating pair for each rating agency. Okay, what I want to do with this list now, I want to actually, it's no good to me in list format. I want to convert this into a table format. Okay, so I'm going to use list transform. Yes, I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to say for each item in this list table from columns. So I'm now going to take a list and I'm going to create a table from that with the from columns command. And I'm just going to put the underscore in there, which refers to the current list. And it's going to do it in groups of two. If you look at this, now we have the first ratings agency, the second ratings agency and the third ratings agency in a pairing like that. But you can see the problem here is the column headers are not there. I don't want to uh, create a new step. All I need to do is because we got the column names over there, we can just say there where we have the underscore comma, and we can just say put column names in there. 
And as you can see, I put column names in there, and now the heading, the headers are there as well, using the column names there. All right, so that's wonderful. So let's just give this a name. Let's call this the ratings list table. Yeah, okay, I'm going to add a new step. The new step will refer to change data type. Yeah, because what I want to extract now is the ratings agency. So what I need to do is put a curly bracket and use row zero. So it's going to basically target row zero, which is S&P, Moody's and Fitch. Yeah, I don't like the fact that I need to first convert this to from record to list. Now it's in a list, but you can see there's null values in there. So we can say list remove nulls. Now we have the ratings agency. I'm just going to call this ratings agency. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to take the ratings list table, ratings agency, which is a list, and then combine that with the ratings list table. How do we do that? We add a new step. We say table from columns. Yeah, we feed it the table. We put the ratings agency in curly brackets and we say and and we put in the curly brackets the ratings list table curly brackets. Close it up. And there we go. We basically now combine the ratings agency with the associated tables. Pretty, pretty cool. But what we want to do is I don't want to add another step to change the names of the, the column. So I'm just going to add there in curly brackets. We say that first column should be called ratings agency. The second one we can just call data. So you can see there's ratings agency and it's got its associated data. What we can do now is we can expand the table, take that off. The problem here is it hard codes the name. So if you at any stage add a new column for each data grouping, it will actually break. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take that out and I'm just going to refer to column names. That should do the exact same thing. I see that we have some null values in there. What we can do with that is we can just say remove the empties and then return it. Now you have a complete list unpivoted list of all your group columns all in one nice data set. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I hope this video helped you to imagine the possibility of things you can do with Power Query. Yeah. BA Sensei signing out.